What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo. In today's video, we're going to be checking out an artist that I have seen mentioned on social media when I ask who I should watch next, what should I be listening to, and Hailstorm always comes up. And I'm not familiar with this band at all or this group. So this is the song, I Miss the Misery. I'm pretty excited to check it out, especially because, again, I don't know if I've ever heard them before, so it's always fun to kind of like get to discover someone new. Before we get into today's video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I also have an album review slash reaction channel. The link is in the description. That's where I dive into new releases or really impactful releases that I never listened to before. And that goes anywhere from rock, metal, to pop, and whatever else is just something really important I should check out. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, you can check that out over there. But I'm excited to get into this. It's called I Miss the Misery. I think the song, I looked at the credits, it looks like it came out in 2012. So uh, let's do it. Yo, that melody is so catchy. Like right away, I already feel like I'm gonna have the song stuck in my head. It's like perfectly written as a melody. Also, that scream in the beginning, I just wanna hear that again. She's good. Okay, that is a perfectly written, perfectly executed chorus. So far, I'm really enjoying the song. I love just how heavy the background instrumental is. One thing that I'm not too fond of, and I don't know if this is just a really bad recording that has been uploaded to YouTube, or if this is really the production, but I feel like the production is very weak on this song. Everything sounds like it's at the same level, and her vocals are so amazing. I just wish that in this version, it was a little bit more separated where she was a little bit more on top of the track. I do feel like it's probably just YouTube compression when it was uploaded, so I definitely wish I was listening to the probably original version of this. Fuck. I love this chorus. I'm sorry, I gotta go back. They are, it's very interesting. I feel like this sound was very popular around 2002 to 2006 ish, maybe 2001 to 2006. I just feel like a lot of bands that were coming out at that time had a similar sound to this. So I don't know if the credit is actually correct at this being 2012, but if it is, I think it's really cool that this has 65 million views, um, almost like six to eight years after the sound was super popular because it just shows that they came in and they did it really well when they did. I feel like if anything else, this song has that many plays because 
of that harmony, that vocal delivery, and this amazing, extremely catchy chorus that is um, happening here. Damn, you know when someone writes a song and you just know 100% that they're feeling every word that they said? That's exactly how I felt with Hailstorm. I gotta say that for the first listen, I am really fucking stoked to hear what's next because those harmonies, I don't know if every song is going to have that, but like, I grew up listening to things like Pennywise and stuff like that, and they always had these amazing vocal harmonies just saying whoa, and the whole band would get together, and to hear a chorus written so well like that with those melodies. It's so catchy. I love the lyrics in this and I just like the fact that you could just tell that I don't know who in this band wrote this, but uh, that chick right there 100% felt everything that she was saying right there. So it's really cool to hear that and see that kind of emotion. Again, I, I can definitely tell that the production on this song probably isn't what the actual quality of the song is. I, these are really great speakers, yet I could hear static in the recording. So for whatever reason, they uploaded a 360p sound bit audio over the official video of this. So I'm definitely gonna have to hunt down and find the original track of this so that I could hear what it was really meant to sound like because her vocals were really great and I would love to be able to hear more. I loved how heavy it was in the back, but I liked that it was still somewhat safe, meaning that this is a very um, accessible band, or at least this song is. Like a lot of people could get into this. You don't have to be into necessarily heavy or aggressive music to enjoy this. There's a lot offering on this one song. So I actually really enjoyed this. Um, if there's more tracks you guys think I'm gonna like, or if there's an album that you think is worth listening to cover to cover on YouTube, let me know because I do have an album channel as well. But I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. You guys can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are always in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.